Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Be an Engineer. Today I am going to discuss about the concept of electrical power. So here I will discuss about active power, reactive power and apparent power. Also I will discuss about the formula and calculations of these powers. So let's start. Active power is known as the real power or average power. Active power is also known as the useful power. The reactive power is known as the unused power. It is also known as imaginary power. And the apparent power is combination of both these powers. Actually it is vector combination of both these powers. And the apparent power is also known as the complex power. Now the active power is denoted by capital P. The reactive power is denoted by capital Q and the apparent power is denoted by capital S and the unit for active power is kilowatt and unit for reactive power it is kvar and for apparent power it is kva that is kilovolt ampere now before coming to the calculations and formulas we must understand about the power triangle so here you can see a right angle triangle so here the base represents active power the perpendicular represents reactive power and the hypotenuse represents apparent power. So as from Pythagoras theorem, we know that hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. So from here, apparent power square is equal to active power square plus reactive power square. So from here, S square will be equal to P square plus Q square where P and Q are active power and reactive power respectively. Now from the right angle triangle we know that cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse. So from here cos theta will be equal to active power upon apparent power. And also we know that cos theta is power factor. So power factor is equal to active power upon apparent power or P upon S. So we know that complex power S is equal to voltage into current that is VI. And also we know that cos theta is equal to P upon S. So from here P will be equal to S into cos theta. So P will be VI cos theta. So this is active power. And we know that sin theta is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Look at the triangle. Sin theta is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So sin theta will be equal to reactive power upon apparent power or Q by S. So the value of Q will be equal to S into sin theta. So it will be Q is equal to VI sin theta. So from here P and Q active power and reactive power that will be P is equal to VI cos theta and reactive power Q is equal to VI sin theta. Now there is a very interesting picture there. You can understand the differential powers from there easily. So you can see here the level of chips until the level of chips it is useful quantity or it is useful power. So it is it represents active power and the imaginary quantity that is air. So it, it represents reactive power and the combination of both the powers represents complex power or apparent power. So I am sure you have understood about the concept of electrical powers that are active power, reactive power and apparent power. So here is a question for you. You have to solve it and you have to put the answer in the comment box. So the question is an electrical device has power factor angle 0 degree. If its apparent power is 20 kVA then calculate first active power second reactive power. So you have to calculate it and put the answer in the comment box below.